Not a care in the world. These grey seals are taking a dip in the clean waters of Hell's seal sanctuary. Once the Baltic Sea was home to more than 100,000 of the mammals, now on Poland's coast they've all but vanished due to hunting, chemical contamination and a lack of breeding spots. Their only natural habitat in the region has been transformed into an army base and the seals could no longer live there. Marine flora is also suffering from the effects of sewage and runoff from farms. Tens of thousands of tons of nitrogen and phosphorus are pumped into the Baltic each year, causing excessive algae. This sucks up oxygen, which marine life depends upon. Shipping, in fact, accounts for just 10% of pollutants. People on the beaches think the pollution comes from the boats, but that's not true at all. There's proof the waste is flushed into the sea via rivers. Ship owners have been forced to become more environmentally aware thanks to tougher international rules. Those found polluting the waters can be fined more than a million euros. But the extent of damage in this increasingly exploited sea remains alarming. One thing's for sure, the Baltic looks set to host even more activity in the future. Plans for an offshore wind energy site located 80 kilometers from the Polish coast are currently underway. We hope to install 260 turbines each at 6 megawatts, so we'll have a total of 1500 megawatts. That's the equivalent of a nuclear reactor. Baltex Power still needs to find partners capable of investing some 4 billion euros into the project and, if the Polish government gives the go-ahead, the first turbines could be installed in four years. Clean energy, but at what expense for marine life?